Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today with a setup for three displays and two computers. At this moment, I'm controlling Flight Simulator right over here. It's not on autopilot, although sometimes it activates AI for stalls and things like that. But once I grab the remote, there we go. Now, I'm playing a game right now, but if I want, I can just press one button with this T-Smart KVM and at this moment with the same keyboard, same mouse, same game, game pad, I can control everything on the other computer, which is right over here. Now, if I want to get back to my computer number one, there we go, back on the game. But if I want just to change an email or send an email on the other computer, I can just grab here the screen, send an email and while I'm playing or watching the game, let's put it back. There is a lot more that we can do with this KVM right over here. So that being said, let's go straight for it. And if you are watching this video on Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below so this is what comes inside the package uh, there is a quick user guide which probably you won't need because you will see how easy it is to use there is also a remote control that we can use to switch between the monitors and the computers if we are far away from the kvm there's also two usb type a two usb type b cables and if i can get some focus it would be easier to show you that side of the screen this will be used to connect our computers to the kvm switch so usb type a on one side for the computer and then USB type B on the other side for the KVM connectivity so that we can pass on the data as we will see in just a few moments. There are also six display port cables and these are some really nice quality cables so it's not just a budget cable included that we will be able to use to connect to the three outputs of each of the computers. And then we also have here a power adapter which depending on your region can be EU or US or any other region like UK for example and finally the KVM which in terms of looks it's a really interesting look now it's made of plastic and we have seen some from Tismat that are made from a metallic enclosure but in this particular case the plastic is not that cheap plastic it feels really nice and it looks really nice as well actually this is one of the nicest KVMs that we have seen now right over here we have besides this really awesome design a power button and then a switch button so that we can move from one computer to the other one and then the LEDs right over here. There are two USB 2.0 ports for our peripherals. There are two USB 3.0 ports so that we can connect fast storage units and uh, similar devices. And there's also a audio combo that we can connect a microphone or a headset with microphone and headphones. Now, if we take a look right over here, we, there are some grills for heat dissipation, the same at the bottom, some rubber feet right over here so that it doesn't slip so a really nice build quality and then at the back there is a dc in ethernet connection right over here so that we don't need to use wi-fi we can have a faster connection then we have the outputs for the three displays so display one display two and display three there is a port for service but this is just in case we need to upgrade any kind of firmware or something like that and then there are the two inputs for the two computers now for computer number one we will have inputs for the three display ports each of the display port cables that come out of the computer we connect right over here also along with the usb type b cable the same for the computer too so three display ports and then one usb and basically this is it we just need to connect and put it on our setup which is what we are going to do right now and now with everything connected here we are with the t smart kvm and a triple display setup 
setup. I just uh, did a test here, but I will do one live with you. Actually, we are going to do a few tests. I do have these three displays, which are with different sizes and different resolutions. We will talk about that, which is important. And I've got two computers, one desktop computer with the RTX 3060 Ti right over here behind this display, and one mini computer right over here connected via Thunderbolt 4 to this eGPU right over here with a 30. 80. So we are going to talk about this setup. We are also going to see how we can use the basic functionality of this KVM, which is great. But one of the biggest advantages that I see on T-Smart KVMs, which is the ability to use some shortcuts like this one right over here, which will allow me to change only one display. So at this moment, I've got computer number two right over here and computer number one. And I can show you one really cool thing that I use on a daily basis, which is I'm working on this computer, but if I want to move my mouse over there I just need to press this key and there we go I've got my mouse on this computer right now if I press it again I have my mouse on this computer and this is just awesome and saves us a lot of time so I'm going to explain how we can do that but before let's go to computer number one now this KVM right over here supports up to 8k at 60 hertz but in my opinion the best is that it supports 4k at 144 hertz which is awesome for those that are planning to have a setup such as this for gaming which i will share in just a few moments the awesome experience that i've been having with this gamepad and the kvm and this triple setup right over here besides that it also supports 12 bit and it supports a lot of stuff which i will leave here on the screen and also down below in the video description which we can find the link with all the specifications i've got also here on this left panel the user guide which i want to share with you a few things and it's here so i don't forget what i want to share now as we have seen the basic usage of the kvm is just by pressing this button and this works like the majority of the kvms which gives us the option to display everything of one computer in this case computer number two with this wallpaper and then if i press once again we will go to computer number one now there's also the option to use this remote control right over here which has the option to computer number one and computer number two on all the screens or if i want i can change display a to computer one one or two, display B to computer one or two, or display C to computer one or two. And I'm going to exemplify here really quick. So if I press A and then two, I will change this display, which is the display A. Probably I should place display A right over there, but it's okay. Now if I press display B and number two, I just switched that one to computer number two. And finally, display C and computer 2 i will have that option so this is great and i can use the remote if i'm far away from the kvm but in my opinion the coolest thing is that i can use keyboard shortcuts and this is one of the major differences from other kvms that we have seen so if i press for example control control number one it will take me to all the screens to computer number one and if i do control control number two it will take all the screens to computer number two which is the basic usage like we did right here but if i press ctrl ctrl and right arrow i've got this display changing if i press ctrl ctrl and left arrow i've got this display changing i should have done uh, the connectivity on the other side for sorry about that but you understand what we are doing and if i press ctrl ctrl and uh, down it will change this one right over here so this is a huge advantage so let's do an example here if i do control control left arrow which is this display i know that at this moment i've got my computer number two here on this screen and i can do whatever i want uh, actually i can't because my mouse is still on computer number one but if i press alt twice now i'm working on computer number two right over here i did bring in the ssd with me right over here that we can see and i'm ready to transfer the files that i want and do some work but if it happens that i want to go to the other computer right over there to do a task or to finish a task i just need to press twice right over here on the alt and bam i'm working on this computer right over here which is really really awesome and you don't need to memorize what i'm sharing with you in terms of shortcuts you will have everything available on the manual from tsmart so this is something that with time you will learn but the basic functionality is easy as this now let's change this uh 
display to actually all of them to compute the number one. One of the things that I want to share with you as well before we finish the shortcuts is that this KVM, like the one that we've seen before from T-Smart, is the first generation that I see with LEDs. So we can change the colors right over here and it has four modes. But for that I will show you a darker image. You will have one mode that it's completely off, one mode that we can have the color of the computer that we are changing between blue and green and then there's also which is called marquee which is like a rainbow and then lastly there's one static orange color I believe that T-Smart on this option could only choose one color and T-Smart having a orange logo then orange was the choice and I believe that it was the right choice now there are a few more shortcuts but these are in my opinion the most important now let's do a speed test right over here so that you can check out what you can get in terms of speeds when transferring files connected via the T-Smart KVM which will then connect to each of the computers and this will allow us to have the devices being connected centrally here and then the device will connect to the computers. So I've already done a speed test right over here just to make sure let's select the SSD which will go uh, inside this enclosure here to 10 gigabit. This is an SSD that will reach 7000 megabytes per second 7 gigabits but on this enclosure only 10 gigabits 1000 megabytes. Now now, these are connections USB 3.2 generation 1, so we are expecting 5 gigabits. Let's start the test, and this is what we are getting a maximum of 5 gigabits or 500 megabytes per second reads and on writes. It's not on the 500, it's 430, but it is uh, more or less reaching that barrier. Now, in terms of the Ethernet connection, which is connected to both computers, we can also do a speed test right over here. It is a 1 gigabit Ethernet connection so that's exactly what we are getting 950 960 megabits per second on download and it will reach the same on the upload site so we will be just fine if we are connected with one single cable to the KVM and then the KVM connects to the computer as well to the computers as we have seen and we will have this functionality right over here in terms of download speeds up to one gigabit and with these tests done one of the last things that I would like to mention is that in my experience in terms of gaming with this gamepad right over here actually besides the gamepad as we have seen I've got a keyboard and a mouse connected here on these two ports which I didn't mention at the beginning I did forgot but it's compatible I would say with all the gamepads that are on the market and are connected via USB and in terms of the experience for gaming playing games that I love like racing and flight simulators actually I believe that this is the kind of game that we will enjoy more on this triple setup because in my opinion they are immersive games and it will give us a great experience in terms of examples I did test out Forza Horizon 5 which probably you have seen some images already I also tested out F1 and finally I tested out the flight simulator which is really really cool so a awesome experience now it's not only about play I did also do some productivity tasks that you can check out right over there and basically that is it in terms of the experience for multitasking this is just awesome as we just have seen with all the shortcuts and options that we have and besides that we can have a gaming computer right over here that will go up to 8k 60 hertz or 4 at 144 hertz and like that without any limits for those that want to play some games and that is it we are almost reaching our destination while you were watching all the details about this T-Smart KVM. Now one of the big advantages that I see on this KVM compared with others that we have seen is that besides giving us the option to change all the displays at the same time for one computer or the other computer is that I can change at any time and if I press right over here and here for example I will have my computer number one screen here while I have two other screens and as you've seen on the presentation I was able to change the displays individually which is something that it's pretty unique so right now just go back to my game and let's see if I can land the plane hopefully the video was helpful and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one